Assalamu alaikum to all my fellow friends. I am Nuri Imanina Binti Nor Izwan from SK Zaina One and I am a sixth Alamanda. My school code is DBB1117. Have you heard the traditional and very famous story Jack and the Beanstalk? I think that all of you already know this story. Did you know this traditional story is very popular around the world? It also became one of fairy tale stories that I love to read again and again since my childhood. Today, I am going to share all of you about this story book that I have read with my sibling. This book is suitable for kids because it included the five steps how to enjoy reading. Besides that, the author also uses simple sentences that are easy to understand. The book is simple but it is interesting and colorful that I never feel bored to read. This edition is published by Paragon Books in 2015 at United Kingdom. The wonderful this book was written by Geraldine Taylor and the fantastic illustrated by Gavin Scott. This book has a hardcover with 28 pages. The story is about a boy named Jack. Jack and his mom had no money and nothing to eat. Jack's mom wanted to sell the cow. At the market, Jack swept the cow for some magic bean from a mysterious old man. Then Jack went home. His mom was very angry at him. She threw the beans into the garden. Jack was very sad about the beans. On the next day, Jack was shocked. He saw a giant beanstalk at the garden. Jack climbed up and up into the cloud. The story will become more interesting. Jack found a castle in the cloud. Jack wondered, who is the castle? Jack knocked at the castle door. He wants to get some food. Suddenly, he heard some giant footsteps. The cook wanted Jack to hide because the giant liked to eat little boy for his supper. The giant shouted, Free, free, for foam. He smelled the blood of little boy. But the cook said the smell was from sausage. Soon, the giant fell asleep. Jack popped up from a cardboard and grabbed a bag of gold. He quickly climbed back down the big stop with a bag of gold. Jack's mom used the gold and bought some food. But soon, all the gold were gone and they were hungry again. Jack climbed out the big stop again. He grabbed a, a fat red hand that lay a big golden egg. On the next day, Jack climbed up the beanstalk again. He wants to get the golden heart. Unfortunately, the giant woke up. The giant chased after him. Jack quickly got to the bottom and grabbed an axe. He chopped down the beanstalk. Crash! The giant fell down. And that was the end of the bad greedy giant. Wow, it's thrilling, isn't it? That's all from me and I hope you guys enjoyed this story and will get this book at the bookshop nearby. Thank you.